In this video, I redrew some childhood art. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see how they all turn out. Like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the video. I started off with this piece from when I was like eight or something. Um, it's a drawing of me and my best friend as like, I don't know, some sort of royalty. I wanted to simplify the design because there's so much going on on that dress and so I made this like tiered looking petal looking thing to sort of tie in all the different plants that were on there. Of course you've got to add the crown and the earrings and I did massive sleeves to match the old design. I included some hearts on the knees like the old design as well. I added some of the designs from the center of the t-shirt as well. Here I'm picking colors, taking inspiration from the old one, using pink for the bottom and then I just decided to ignore the whatever mess of colors that's there and make up my own. And then I started on the line work. And now's to the coloring. I chose some better colors than whatever seven year old, eight year old me had chosen. But taking inspiration from it, you know, the blues, pinks, yellows, but obviously making them not rubbishly scribbled. <laughs> On to the next one. This next one is probably my favourite. It features more of a background as well as a character, so I thought this would be a good choice. I was looking through some old sketchbooks, here's um, some weird alien character that I found, but I thought this would be better because it's got a bit of an environment as well, and I think I've improved on environments, but I don't tend to draw them as much. And this was a bit of a challenge, but it was very fun. So I began to sketch out this character, you know, I decided to give him a little bit of a, a coat thing, um, so that it could flow because I thought, you know, the, uh, out of the cave, you know, there's some wind drafting to make it look all dramatic and stuff. And then I remembered it's from the back so I'll need to design the back as well, I usually don't bother but I designed the back. And a, a wee lantern as well. The sun kept um, kept wanting to be in the frame, so I, I ignore that. <laughs> I wanted to keep to sort of the original uh, design of the cave, but I was experimenting with the idea of having it be more modern. I thought I'd modernize the environment because I'm modernizing the design. But it didn't really work, so I just ended up scribbling a bit and then ended up with this nice little composition. Which I then start to draw on this larger piece of paper. I wasn't entirely sure what medium I wanted to do this in. The original was obviously pencil, but I don't know if pencil would have worked to fully get the contrast that I wanted with this piece. And so I started sketching and then I just used fine liner.
After finishing the line work, I transferred it to my iPad and started working on it digitally. Um, I colored it this way just because I thought it would be easier. I used a mixture of the multiply layer blend and the artistic brush to get this effect. And on to the last one. I'm not as proud of this one to be honest, but I thought um, it was a similar character to the one in the previous, so I thought I'd just continue the story of what they might find in the cave. Um, I thought this pose looked a little bit familiar and um, yeah, um, it's a little bit familiar, just, just a little bit. I was having trouble with this pose and then I drew it smaller and wished it was digital so I could, you know, make it big, but sadly it is not. Then I spent 20 minutes trying to figure out hands. Um, <laughs> I eventually got it and started the line work. I then transferred it to digital art again so that it would match the other one and worked on that using the same tools as before. And now for the big reveal. <laughs> 